Johnny Lawrence out on the track showing us the fast way around. Johnny Lawrence won the Florida Track and Trails Off-Road Grand Prix Race Series. He's a current 2020 champion. No big surprise. He's uh, been a fast A rider for probably 20 years. Known him from the Mototown days where he pretty much won every pro race they had there for two years. Indoor Supercross. Very versatile rider. Good at Supercross, Arena Cross, Motocross. And now the uh, J-Day style off-road racing. Always expect to see him up front and always be in the top five or ten, no matter who's out there. If not, on top of the podium. Next weekend, we're going to follow Johnny to a local Grand Prix race on Sunday. He's practicing today, just out putting a few hot laps in. We're actually going to sponsor him, and uh, hopefully he'll, he'll do well. We'll get some good footage for you guys. A minute and a half lap time here for Johnny. He did like 32 laps, oh, and I'm like, what the hell? Guys, I talked a little bit about Johnny's uh, history, winning uh, indoor arena cross and supercross championships and a lot of outdoor stuff. And recently moved down to Florida and, and 34 years old, you've still you've got the passion for riding. Just won the Florida State Trails Championship last year. Yeah. Tell me about your switch from motocross to off-road and what, what that's all about. Well, as I got older, we got into the, the woods racing and it was more, more about like ride time. So the hair scrambles ended up being like two hour races and uh, it's more hanging out with your friends and your family rather than doing five lap races, waiting for 30 minutes and then another moto and you kind of don't get to interact with the people that you spend most of your time with and the same passion with. So when I got into hair scrambles, I uh, came down to Florida and tagged up with Ride Florida MX ATV and we started riding Chrome a lot and uh, got in with the Florida Trail Riders. and. Met a lot of good people, and a lot of people you'd be surprised that are in it. You know, ex arena cross factory riders, you know, uh, ex pro GNCC riders that are all still fast. And uh, it's you know we get about anywhere from 800 to 1,200 people on a race. So it's huge it's compared huge. to moto. Like it might be uh, you know two, three hundred at a moto event yeah. these days. NESC maybe yeah. 400. They're, now you're pulling 12, 1300 at J Day or, or the Florida exactly. Trail Riders. And you get a lot of people like are interested in what you do with the vintage bikes and the old CRs and the two strokes. And uh, it's not about having a $10,000 bike with brand new tires on it all the time. Yep. It's more about the experience and riding. People who ride one lap, pull off, and hang out in the pits and cheer their friends on, you know? So it's about more fun and, and yeah. it's a more family oriented thing. It's not as yeah. cutthroat as motocross but, it was. So. But there's some bad dudes. Don't yeah, some, get it wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? The top, you got the top five. Like Garrett Edmondson yeah. and Sean Clark and Alex Mitz and 
And then you have the people that run run the organizations, like Kurt Lucas is the editor, and you know all the people that run the program. They work on the tracks, and they also put the events on. So it ends up just being like an all around awesome weekend, rather than so stressful. You know, um, come down here, check out the uh, Ride Florida ATV yeah. MX and Trail System. Yeah. You know, Mark will hook you up, get you involved, and then there's guys like Johnny who can coach you as to where, where how to get into the racing scene. Yes, sir, uh, so, how, how does somebody get involved in, in the Florida uh, uh, Track and Trails uh, club that you're in? Really, right now, um, it's really big through social media. You can get on, you know, either you know Facebook or Instagram and go follow Florida Trail Riders, and uh, basically they have thousands of group members, and we also have a group called the Florida Motocross Group, which. Mark and myself and a few other people put on where we do like ride days and give away raffles and stuff and so a lot of people interact through that and you know through the web pages. So Florida Trail Riders is the the main group that sponsors all this and you were originally a New York up north rider right? Yes sir. So I um, used to ride with Barsha when, yep. when, when, uh, when you guys were kids yep. and bang bars of those guys you're always a top expert Ryan rider Mills, up there. Mike Levitt, Jay Weller, all those guys yeah. So what brought you down here? The weather. <laughs> you can ride That's a rhetoric through. question. I'm sitting here in a tank top <laughs> yeah. and it's 70 degrees yeah. out at home. It's three degrees yeah. today. I mean, look at the dirt right now. And I mean, we can ride 365 days a year. You don't have to cram it into six months. And then, so there's more time to do things like fishing and kayaking and yep. things like that where you enjoy yourself, where you don't have to like make every weekend because it's spread out through like more so the year. We mainly race through the winter. So it gets too hot in the summer, right? Yeah. And that's when people fish and relax and stay indoors <laughs> how long have you been down here johnny it'll be four years this four years. uh yeah this coming month and mark was kind of your your uh yeah yeah he's my inspiration to get down here yeah. Yeah, and, and exactly. your sponsor now too 20 years yeah so we so got him down here finally finally and yeah he helps me do everything he's yeah. been trying to get me here forever and we just kind of try and do things like put this together it's not so much about being at the races every weekend and and a lot more motorcycle shops are willing to do something we have a uh, motorcycle enthusiasts here which they're huge they Super have people guy that work in their office and they're all about the you know about the scene the track scene they send a trailer to the races and and a vendor and they have a guy that sells that races and promotes it so they do a lot for the riders it's just a it really is down here it's a motorcycle world here on the west coast these are some of johnny's sponsors on yeah here. we got the fender some of the plumbing companies spark avenue mobile pet grooming they're huge help h2o plumbing Water Genius, nice shoes, video editing. You got room for a New England Motorcycle Museum sticker on here for next weekend? <laughs> Absolutely, Absolutely. Awesome, I got one for you. We're gonna we're gonna uh, follow Johnny uh, next week as he uh, tries to get another another podium finish for the. Uh, where are you at in the championship series right now? We just started riding again. Uh, I got second in the last two rounds. I've been beat fair and square by a guy, and uh, so we're coming strong next week. And we're doing a GP race. So we ride a few different circuits. They have an enduro series, they have a hair scramble series, and then a lot of the riders put on what they call now a GP. So we're gonna do something like a J Day up by you. It's got some hard enduro, it's got some motocross, it's at Spider MX next weekend. Um, Sunday we'll be doing, you know, hair scramble, dirt bikes, quads, side by side. So it'll be a good time. Stay tuned, guys, next weekend. It's all fun and games, but when that gate drops, I know Johnny puts his game face on, and it's go time. That's it. Friends or no friends. That's <laughs> yes, well, hey, it. We can't wait to see those. you there. <laughs> Johnny, uh, who's Mellow Mangrove this Charter? This is Sean Darty. He's We call him Captain Sean. He's a local out of Homosassa, another FTR guy. He sponsors a lot of riders, actually, and uh, he puts on fishing trips. You know, we do scalloping. And just tours, manatee tours, and things. So, like if a family that. or, or a couple, couple, couple dudes or, or a whole family of people came down here in the winter, frozen, from, like you your go. friends from New York, they can come down here. That's it. Ri fly down to Tampa International Airport, be here within an hour, yep. riding dirt bikes, riding ATVs, and go fishing and swimming with the uh, manatees if you All want. For right? One group of people. There you go, folks. Johnny, looking forward to seeing you center next week, and always, always like watching your race. You're always up front. Thanks. Keep all, up okay. the good work, brother. See you, man. God bless America.